Hi, everybody. Okay, today we have a much shorter aim than yesterday's crazy long one. Our aim today is simply how do we divide decimals. So we haven't really worked with decimals in a while, so you have to put your brain back in decimal mode for um, this lesson and for the next few lessons, okay? So we're going to start off relatively easily. 15 divided by 5 equals 3, right? That's a fact. We know that. Now we get into the decimal part of it. 15 hundredths divided by 5 equals what? Okay, so we need to think about that for a second. 15 hundredths divided by 5 equals 3 hundredths, right? Because we're in the hundredths place value in the unit of one hundredths with a th. Now we have 15 thousandths divided by 5, so we're going to end up with 3 thousandths same unit. Okay, now we have 12 hundreds divided by 3. Well, what does 12 hundreds look like? It's 12 hundreds, right? And then we divide that by 3, and we know 12 divided by 3 is 4 hundreds. Okay, so I could have written the word hundreds here if I wanted to. And this one is 12 hundredths. So that looks like this, right? Divided by 3, and my answer is going to be what unit are we in? Hundredths, correct? So we're going to be writing 4 hundredths. 24 hundreds is 24 hundreds divided by 6, which equals, well, I know 24 divided by 6 is 4 hundreds. 24 hundredths divided by 6 equals 4 hundredths. Okay, it should all be coming back to you now, right? Okay, good. Hold on. Okay, so this looks like a lot of writing, but it's actually um, an explanation. So let's look at problem number one here. We have 54 divided by 10. So how do we divide 54 by 10? And I'm just simply reading this. Well, what is 110 divided by 10? That equals 110 divided by 10 is 1, correct? If 110 divided by 10 is 1, what is 5 tens divided by 10? So this really means 50, so the answer would be 5. What is 1, 1 divided by 10? So now we have the number 1 divided by 10. That would equal 1 tenth, right? If 1 divided by 10 is 1 tenth. What is 4 ones divided by 10? That would be 4 tenths. That should make sense to everybody. Okay, you could read it over if you need to. Problem number 2 is 5 and 4 tenths divided by 10. So if we know this up here, if we know 54 divided by 10, right, is 5 and 4 tenths, because here we took it apart, right, so the answer is 5 and 4 tenths, because we took it apart. We took the 10 divided by 10 is 1, the 5 divided by 10 is 5, the um, 1 this 1 divided by 10 is 1 tenth, and this 4 divided by 10 is 4 tenths. So we are left with 5 and 4 tenths for this question. So now we have 5 and 4 tenths, and we're dividing that by 10. 
Well, if you look down here on this very beautiful place value chart, we have 5 and 4 tenths divided by 10. So that would become 54 hundredths, okay? And then if we did this one, 54 hundredths divided by 10, it would become 54 thousandths. And here's the place value chart that shows that this, um, this theory or the answers I'm writing for you are correct. So we started out with 54. That means it's 5 tens and 4 ones. We divided it by 10. We got 5 ones and 4 tenths. We divided that by 10. We ended up with 5 tenths and 4 hundredths. Then we divided that by 10 and we ended up with 0 tenths, 5 hundredths, and 4 thousandths. Okay? So we're going to keep moving on. So this is how we're going to work with division with decimals right now. And I guarantee your parents don't know how to do this because when they put this program out, this is the first time I've ever seen it done this way, but it does make sense. So let me walk you through this, okay? We have a, the whole number 54 and the whole number 90. And it's just down here now. So what we're doing is we're taking out the 10, okay? So the 10 is now here. All right, you got that? So you're doing 54 divided by 10, and that's 5 and 4 tenths. You already divided the 90 by 10, so you're left with the 9. So now your problem becomes 5 and 4 tenths divided by 9, and the answer is 6 tenths. Okay, let's try another one. Whoops, the division thing is gone. Okay, so here we have 5 and 4 tenths divided by 90. We're dividing by 10 immediately. So the 90 becomes the 9. And then this is left because we have to divide both numbers by 10. Okay, so if we're getting rid of the 0, we're dividing that by 10, now we have to divide this number by 10. So 5 and 4 tenths divided by 10 would be 54 hundredths divided by 9, which would be 6 hundredths. Okay, you following that? Let's do the next one. So now we're starting off with 54 hundredths divided by 90. So we're writing 54 hundredths divided by, what do you think? Yes, 10, because we're following the pattern. Get rid of that, divided by 9. So what is 54 ten, uh, sorry, 54 hundredths divided by 10 becomes 54 thousandths divided by 9. And the answer is 6 thousandths. Okay, so just take a look at this again. Let it sink in. All right, watch it over again. Look at what I did, where I put the 10, how I divided the divisor by 10 first, and then I divided the dividend by 10. Okay, so just review that for a second. Let it sink in a minute. Okay, so here we have 54 divided by 900. So instead of 90, in the, we're, instead of 10s, we're working with hundreds. Okay, so we want to get rid of the hundreds and divide our whole number by 100 and then just divide it by a single number 9 in the ones place, in the ones unit. Okay, so 54 divided by 100 is 54 hundreds. Now we divide that by 9 and what do we get? 54 hundredths divided by 9 is 6 hundredths.
Okay, you guys got that? The next one, 5 and 4 tenths divided by 900. Well, again, I want to get rid of this, so I'm dividing that by 100. Okay, and then I divide the 5 and 4 tenths by 100. So 5 and 4 tenths divided by 100 would be what? 54 thousandths divided by 9. And the answer to that would be 6 thousandths. Okay, is that making sense? So you see the pattern? So you have 54 divided by 900, and because you have hundreds here and no decimal here, you're ending up with hundreds. You have hundreds here and a tenth here, so you're ending up with thousandths. Okay? So this is a little tricky, so watch it again. All right? Listen again. So go back to it and do that for me. All right? Just unless you're very clear about it, go back and watch it again. Okay, so here is something that they want you to think about. So using place value reasoning and the first quotient compute the, to compute the second quotient, all right? Explain your thought process. So they don't want you to figure it out. They want you to kind of just answer them. So from what we know, if this has a tenth and this is a single unit, then you're just staying in the tenths. This one, you would divide by 10, right? And this one would get divided by 10. So what would your answer be here? If you look at that, you know you're going to have the same, you're going to have a 9 and a 3. The question is, where is the decimal point going to be? So would it be in the same place? Does that make sense? No, because this is the same number here. But this is a 50, and this is a 5. So we need to move the units one more place. Which way are we going if we're dividing? Are we going to the left, or are we going to the right? Well, let's look back really quickly at our place value chart. Here we go. We're dividing, so we're going to the right. Okay? So we'll get back to that screen. So it's going to be 93 or 93 hundredths. I want you guys to think about that for a second, okay? And then um, come right back, okay? Think about that for a second. Is it the whole number 93 or is it 93 hundredths? Okay, hopefully you guys decided that this is the answer. When you move to the right in decimals, remember... Here is the decimal, and it's tenths, remember this, hundredths, thousandths, remember? So if we're moving to the right, the number's actually getting smaller. So the answer is 93 hundredths. And I didn't need to figure anything out. I just needed to divide again by 10, and then I got my answer. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping I get through all this. I only have like a minute left before my video shuts me off. So we have one, this is your problem set. This is actually done for you on the problem set. This is number one. So it's exactly what we've been doing. We're taking apart the numbers and then dividing by 10. So this is what I'm more interested in right now. This word problem. So, okay, so here's my problem. 9,732 and 8 tenths of a pound of food for four weeks. Here's my answer to that. Then I need to know if each bear is fed the same amount of food, how much is used to feed one bear for a week. Well, then I take this number, divide it by 20 bears, take off my 10, I'm left with this number, and now I need to divide it by 2, which I did over here. That's my answer. Divided by 10. I have to round it, so it's approximately 122 pounds. 
Okay, I hope you got that. Read it over again 